the doorways open up and see the what kind of lifeline will be waiting there for me need to bury all these things and let them fade away I'm not scared I'm prepared to find myself again Good morning, everybody. I am going to speak on a few cold cases this morning. The first case I am going to discuss is Charles Christopher Dart. Charles has been missing since 3-25-2012 from Fayetteville, Arkansas. He is considered endangered missing, disabled, He's male, white, 50 years old at the time of his disappearance. He is in between six foot and six foot one, 175 pounds to 185 pounds. Associated vehicle would be a blue green Ford F-150 pickup truck with the Arkansas license plate number DV. 20752. This truck is accounted for. Silver and black 2012 Dodge Avenger with the Florida license plate number 443HXN. So he is a Caucasian male, graying brown hair, brown eyes. Charles had a long graying brown beard at the time of his disappearance. Charles disappeared from Fayetteville, Arkansas on March 25th, 2012. On April 9th, his blue-green Ford F-150 pickup truck with the Arkansas license plate number DV-20752 was found broken down and abandoned in Gulf County, Florida. Dot rented a silver and black 2012 Dodge Avenger with the Florida license plate number 443HXN on May 3rd. He never returned with the vehicle and is listed as stolen. The Visa credit card he used to pay for the rental has not been used since. Charles receives Veterans Affairs disability payments, which are still being deposited in his account, but he hasn't accessed the account since before May 2012. There is no record of him checking into any VA hospital in the country. His case remains unsolved. If you have any information on where Charles could be or what happened to him, please contact the Fayetteville Police Department at 479 587 3520. And that is basically all the information in his case. There isn't much information in social media or on the internet on his case. There isn't much in the media except for a couple things from web sleuths and things like that. So basically YouTubers, I'm not seeing anything from mainstream media on his case, unfortunately. So I wanted to get his name back out there. The next case I wanted to talk about, there is no media on at all. I haven't seen any videos made for. I have seen one post on Facebook 
and something on the Charlie Project. Marion Bobby Gresham Sr., Atlanta, Georgia. He's been missing since March 25th, same year, 2012. He went missing at 66 years old. He has black hair, brown eyes, 5'9", 170 pounds. He's male, race is black. On March 25th, 2012, Marion Bobby Gresham Sr., a 66-year-old black male, disappeared from his apartment on Magnolia Way, northwest in Atlanta, Georgia. Mr. Gresham's vehicle was found parked at his apartment. If anybody has any information, please call 1-800-CALL-FBI. If there is, if you see him or have like any urgent information on his case, please call 911. Um, or you can submit a tip at https tips.fbi.gov. He's also, let's see, there is a poster and VICAP alert in Atlanta, Georgia on his case. So let me share that just so you know that there is something on VICAP right here. with his information. So his case, there isn't much information on it as well, unfortunately, but I wanted to get his face and name back out there. So the next case is the same situation, but he is not even on Facebook and the picture is a bit blurred that I am seeing. It's, his name is Michael Way. He's been missing since 325, 2002 from Atlanta, Georgia. He is considered endangered missing now. Black, 10, 26, 1977 is when he was born. So he'd be 46 years old today. He went missing at 24. He's 5'9", 180 pounds, gray pants, a gray shirt and black and white shoes is his clothing at his disappearance. He has a tattoo of a cross on his back and a tattoo of praying hands on his arm. <clears throat> Michael was last seen in the 1900 block of Southeast Fisher Road in Atlanta, Georgia on March 25th. 2002. He has never been heard from again. He left behind four children as well as three older siblings. In 2011, investigators announced they believed Michael had been murdered and they had identified 10 to 13 suspects in his presumed death, at least some of whom were closely associated with Michael. They stated he was abducted from the 2200 block of Kerry Drive in Atlanta while leaving the home of his children's mother, taken to an undisclosed location and killed. His body was allegedly buried in the woods near the old South Bend Historic Cemetery on Forest Park Road. Authorities said they anticipated making an arrest within days, but none were ever made. The suspects have not been publicly identified in searches at the cemetery, turn up nothing. Way's mother died in 2010, eight years after his disappearance. His case remains unsolved. If you have any information on his case or what happened to Michael Way, please contact Atlantic Police Department at 404 853 4235. And I do appreciate everybody for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, comment below, and share this out. Let's get their names back in the algorithm. 
I love you all, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.